Welcome PML fans, this is week three of the PML draft, and this week we have Coach Matt of the Blades. Very scary opponent as always, and um, of course, uh, somehow we beat him twice last season in the uh, singles draft, but this is doubles, and I, I believe Matt prefers doubles over singles, so we better be prepared for his team. Luckily, I predicted the six he was going to bring. So now we just got to make sure that um, we just got to make sure that we can break through that team. So I'm going to go Franklin and Megzilla first. What? I'm going to go Megzilla and Sylveon. Sylveon is a good check. I'm predicting a Kamo Oklafable lead or possibly a tentacruel lead with something else. So we just shall see. We shall see. We shall see. I wonder if he predicted what we were going to do. But anyways, uh, good luck. Have fun, Matt. Uh, let's let the best team win. All right, let's see what he decides to lead. Does he lead that Clefairy Kamo? Oh, oh, no, he leads Weavile and Clefable. So, you know what? That's not a bad lead. Not a bad lead at all. All right, now does Weavile go for the fake out here? I'm going to go Flash Cannon into Weavile. And I'm going to protect on Sylveon. Just in case the fake out comes, uh... We don't really have protect on uh, Megzilla because he is Scarf. So he would resist the fake out anyway. Uh, Sylveon, though, would not. And though we are Scarfed, we're not fast enough to outbeat a we uh, out outbeat outspeed a Weavile. But chooses not to go for the fake out anyway. So Sylveon goes for the protect. We're going to Flash Cannon into the Weavile. And let's see what Clefable decides to do. Oh, Stealth Rocks. Oh, nice. Looks like Charizard is going to start this battle at half health. That's fine. Um, we're going to go ahead and go for the Flash Cannon into Weavile once again. And I'm going to go for the Wish on Sylveon. And let's see what decides to happen here. If he has that beat up tech, uh, it could be a problem. He does like to run the beat up King's Rock set. And like I said, we are Scarf, but I don't think we're fast enough to outspeed a Weavile still. Because I did put a lot of bulk into uh, Mechzilla. Okay, so the Icicle Spear comes off. Can we get two? Yes. Beautiful. Mechzilla goes for the Flash Cannon. Weavile goes down, and what does uh, Clefable decide to do here? Um, highly doubt the crit mattered. Ooh, but that matters. Alright, what does he go into here? If he goes into Komo'o, we're in a pretty bad spot, but not the worst spot. If he goes Kamo, oh, we're we can't we can't Draco Meteor and we're paralyzed now, so we're gonna be slower than Kamo. Oh, this is a problem. Okay, go alert. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna go to Franklin. And I'm going to go to Undertaker on this side. Mm 
That way, uh, Undertaker gets the wish. Heals back up. Hopefully does not get attacked on this side. On the Sylveon side. And uh, Mechzilla is going to bring Torkoal in, which will give us the sun. So hopefully we did not throw away Charizard here. Okay, Dynamic Punch goes into Franklin, and uh, Franklin can handle that, but he is going to be uh, confused. And Clefable goes Thunder Wave, but we avoid the attack, so we get lucky. Did the Wish not go off? That is very interesting. Okay. Um. Wow, the Wish didn't go off. Weird. Um. Well, alrighty then. I'm gonna go max wildfire into the Golurk. And I'm heat waving with Franklin. Oh, and he's maxing Golurk right away. So he he's going into this Charizard, I believe. Probably a max uh, max rock fall or something. What does he decide to do here? Maybe he goes Max Quake into Torkoal? But I really see a Max Rock Ball coming here. We will at least get our attack move off first. But I don't think we take out a Golurk from Pool. G-Max Wildfire pops off. Go Lurk. Oh, barely hangs on. So hopefully he attacks the Torkoal here, but yeah, not going to happen. Charty Berry, I don't know if that helps. I really don't get why the Wish didn't pop off there. But I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess it just doesn't happen that way. All right, so Undertaker goes down. Clefable going for another Thunder Wave. So Thunder Wave, uh, Clefable's just there to be annoying. Uh, Franklin hits itself in confusion, and Golurk should go down to the max wildfire. Oh, it just hangs on. Okay. So I'm going to go. Eesh. We're in a rough spot here. I'm going to go to Roche. Wish I had U turn now. Uh, yeah, let's go Roche. I'm going to have to uh, burn. I'm, pro I'm probably going to have to get Thunder Wave here. So we might get just chipped away against his team. All right, I'm going to go protect on Franklin. Well, what for? I'm going to go Heat Wave. And I'm going to go... Oh, with my luck. I'm going to go Triple Axle. Into Golurk. Oh, I should have went to Clefable because Golurk goes down after this turn anyway. And even if he takes out Faramosa, that would have been that would have been horrible, I guess. Oh well, it is what it is. At least we take down the Golurk. Faramosa gets the first kill of the season, and hopefully we can avoid another Thunder Wave. That'd be great. And we don't. But we do get our attack boost. Franklin's confused. Can't move because of paralysis. So, uh, RNG's pretty balanced, I guess, at this point. 
Okay, so Clefable is Magic Guard. <sighs> if this is a follow me set, uh, this is where Komo'o comes in and just sweeps. If it is not a follow me set, we have a chance. All right, so this is uh, I'm gonna clear small Komo'o, and I'm gonna triple Axel Komo'o because Komo'o is the threat, and of course, Clefable over there is just sitting there, being fat and tanky. Oh, that kills. Yep. All right, Clefable goes Dazzling Gleam. Doesn't take out Torkoal. Torkoal's confused still. Goes clear. The one attack move we get off. Does nothing. But at least the Max Wildfire comes off, which is useful. All right. Megzilla, this is what you were here for. Not my best battle. Not by any means. Horrible prep. I mean, why didn't I bring Taunt? Right after last week? What am I doing? Um, I guess I'll just go Heat Wave. <laughs> and I'm going to go Draco Meteor into the Komo'o. I have Stalwart ability, so follow me won't stop it. And um, clearly not a follow me Clefable because I feel like uh, he would have used that before. So what does he use here? I think a Clangorous Soul. A Clangorous Clanging Skills probably takes us out. Doesn't. Doesn't take us out. All right. Uh, does... Oh, it has Throat Spray. Okay. Wow. That Clefable took us out. Oh, shit. Well, that's a GG. There ain't nothing I can do now. Not a goddamn thing. And Wish didn't go off. I wonder why. I, I feel... I feel... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Wish didn't go off. And I feel if Wish went off with the Charity Berry, we lived that hit against Golurk, and we were in a better position for this battle. Probably wouldn't have won, but we would have been at least in a better position. Um, and we didn't get that. So, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to go Hyper Voice. He probably goes... I don't know. I'm going to go Aura Will into Clefable. Uh, actually, I'm going to go Protect. Uh, and let's see what happens. Because uh, this is not good. And I still don't know why Wish didn't go off. Unless I missed something. I mean, I pushed Wish. Sylveon didn't get health back. It just doesn't make sense. But either way, depending on this last move, Oh, yeah. Flash Cannon. GG. More Pico's not going to 5-0, uh, 3-0. Uh, one, 3v1 his team, so. And that Dazzling Gleam probably will take out, uh, Sylveon. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, and Sandstorm subsides. Do we have a chance? Probably not. Um, it depends on what he brings out here. If he brings in Tentacruel, not a chance, because we're about to be Dark-type. Well, we'll see. <laughs> like and rock. Alright, I'm going to go Protect on Sylveon. And I'm going to go... 
Electro Web to slow down that Lycan Rock, but I mean Excel Rock is gonna go first anyway. So I uh, might be delaying the inevitable, but this match is probably over. Oh, Lynch. Uh, didn't even give me a chance. All right. Well, GG, Matt. And uh, we will see you guys next week.